It's what we've all been waiting for, everyone. It's Metal Gear Solid 4 time. Um, I just realized I don't have Twitch up on my phone, so I can't see if anyone's saying anything. Not that I think they are. No one's here. No one wants to watch this shit. What a thrill. Like, imagine watching this when you could be watching Lara6683 playing piano instead. What a what a waste of everyone's time. Uh, stream manager. There we go. I haven't done a sound check. Let me just do it. I had to um, unplug and replug my mic, so let me... Um, I sound like me. I, mean, I guess that's fine. All right. Ooh. So, just a quick rundown. Metal Gear Solid 4 is probably the one I know the least about. I was active as a as a gamer TM in 2000 and I don't know when it came out. 2009? Whenever it was being shown in like shows and stuff, I was I was watching E3 and stuff, so I'd be watching the trailers. So what I know about this one is that we're back to Solid Snake. And from the trailers, I remember uh, all the characters show up. So we're going to see Otacon, we're going to see Meryl, we're going to see Ocelot, which I assume means we're going to see the arm. Um, and I recall like a, a cutscene being showed off with Vamp and Raiden. And Raiden obviously is his cool cyborg version for some reason that I don't know. But like, I don't know any of the story. Oh, and Snake's old. That's what I know because he's a clone. But I don't actually know anything about how any of this pans out or what any of it means or how... I don't know anything about it. I just know those characters show up. So that'll be exciting. And uh, Oh, and I know that Tom and Chris hate it. And Patrick, my other Metal Gear friend, also hates it. So we're in for a good time. Ooh, the chat is lighting up. Uh, I will play Revengeance after this. What do I expect will be good about this one? What I'd hope is that the gameplay would be a little tighter in terms of camera. Is as like I'm always fighting against the camera in Metal Gear games, and well, the controls in general I suck at, right? So I'm hoping they've just had a little bit of a next gen, you know, we're into the PS3 era now, you know, like Gears of War exists. So I'm hoping there's a little bit of, of that. Um, what new things or iterations are you anticipating? Really just hoping for the controls to be better. Controls and camera. And I imagine there'll be more gadgets. Like I vaguely remember from trailers, like a little tiny robot you control or something. So I guess there'll just be some more... Toys to play with, so that'd be cool. Um, if they could, um, what's been my um, so I've been watching some more YouTube videos of like you know, all the things in MGS3 and MGS2 and stuff, and it's like these games really are uh, miles deep, right? So I've been doing a real disservice just playing them once, but who's got time to replay games? But I hope that some of these systems are a bit more prevalent and a bit more encouraged to use them and a bit more encouraged to experiment, right? But I don't think that'll actually happen until MGS5 from just from what I've heard. So we'll see. Yeah, remember when Gears of War came out and then every game after it was a cover shooter? Fucking hell. When, when did MGS4 come out? When did this game come out? Two thousand and eight. Okay. Um, in terms of story, uh, I don't fucking know. I I kind of already don't know what happened at the end of MGS two because there were. I remember thinking there were so many threads, loose threads, and um, we killed Solidus and that was it, right? And then, but what about the Patriots? And what about? Uh, God, I can't even remember. I remember that there were a bunch of different things that were unresolved, and I was confused and annoyed about that. 
So I hope that all of that will get tied up a little bit because it really felt like we ended in the middle um, there. But from the trailers and from the general attitude, what I think we'll get instead is a bunch of weird fan service, like a bunch of anime matchups and uh, really long cut scenes. I don't know why. I guess we'll have... I guess if we're not in the past anymore, we won't have history lessons so much as more of that speculative sci-fi. So maybe that'll be good. I don't know, though. I really don't know. Olga's baby and an AI-designed control society with memes. You know what? I completely forgot about Olga and her baby. So, whoops. Uh, do I need to, like, read a summary or something real quick of MGS2? I'm going to just go on MGS2's Wikipedia page real quick, just to, unless that'll spoil things. That's what I'm afraid of, just Googling any of this. What a thrill. I don't imagine we'll have a, um, a, um, a theme tune that's as good as last time. Uh, Raiden, blah, blah, Colonel, Rosemary, uh, uh, Pliskin, Stillman, yeah, Otacon, yeah. Um, oh yeah, rip off Grey Fox. Oh yeah. Sons of Liberty, Group of Terrace, Big Shell, blah, blah, blah. Dead Cell, yeah. That's Foxhound Make 2, Fam Fat Man Fortune. Assistant uh, Galukovic, Olga Galuchevich and Revolver Ocelot. Blah, 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 blah. Yammer, yammer, blah. Gilukovic, Gilukovic. Um, uh, 2007, Solid Snake infiltrates a tanker carrying Metal Gear Ray. Yeah, remember that. Russian mercenary is Gilukovic and his daughter Olga and Ocelot. Ocelot betrays his allies, classic Ocelot. Upon seeing Snake, Ocelot is possessed by the will of Liquid Snake and escapes with Ray. <laughs> God, that's funny. That is still funny. Um, two years later, an environmental cleanup facility, the Big Shell, has been erected to clear up oil spill. During a tour by US President James Johnson, Sons of Liberty raid the facility, taking Johnson hostage, threatening to destroy it. Raiden is ordered by the Colonel, just on the terrorists, blah, 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 blah. Pliskin Stillman helped disable explosives, planted by Fat Man. Uh, a time bomb goes off, killing Stillman, rest in peace. Raiden kills Fat Man, encounters mysterious cyborg ninja. Hostages, helicopter, dead cell. Come on. Oh yeah, Harrier jet appeared. That was cool. Um, Solid Snake, in quotes, escapes with the solid Metal Gear Ray. Bliskin reveals that he is the real Solid Snake and helps locate Johnson with Otacon. Johnson reveals riding the United States Democratic process of stam shade, a sham staged by an organization called the Patriots who secretly rule the country. Furthermore, the big shell is a facade to hide Arsenal gear, a submersible mobile mo mobile fortress that has an AI called GW. This is it, yeah. Explains the leader of Dead Cell is his predecessor, George C. is a clone of Big Boss known as Solidus Snake, who plans to seize Arsenal and overthrow the pa Patriots. Johnson is then killed by Ocelot. Ryden rescues computer programmer Emma Emmerich. Oh! God, that's really... God, the Jack and Rose stuff and this Emma Otacon fancies his mum, fancies his sister bullshit really sours me on this. Um who plans to upload a virus to GW to disable Arsenal. Vamp stabs Emma. There's a character called Vamp who's a vampire. Before being shot by Raiden, Emma uploads the virus but dies as the virus is cut off prematurely. Shouldn't be laughing, sorry. Otacon leaves to rescue the hostages while Raiden is captured by the ninja, revealed to be Olga, good twist, when Snake seemingly betrays him. Big Shell collapses and Arsenal departs. Then shit gets weird, if I recall, right? Um, Raiden awakens on Arsenal before Solidus, who reveals he had murdered Raiden's parents and raised him as a child soldier during the Liberian Civil War. That's right. Solidus leaves and Olga frees Raiden, explaining she is a patriot, double agent, forced to aid Raiden in exchanging in exchange for her child's safety. Ah, yes. Right, that's how the baby came in to it. After the colonel begins acting erratically, Raiden discovers he is a construct of GW, the colonel, damaged by the virus. 
Rose tells Ryden she had been ordered by the Patriots to become his lover and spy on him and that she is pregnant with his child. It really did get messy. Ryden finds Snake, who had helped Olga capture Ryden so they could gain entry to Arsenal. Fortune battles Snake while Ryden is forced to battle with the AI-controlled Metal Gear Rays. Is that what happened? The virus causes the Rays to malfunction and Solidus kills Olga when she discloses her double status, double agent status to Ryden. God, this... Okay. Snake and Ryden are captured and taken to the top of Arsenal by Solidus, Fortune, and Ocelot. Yes. Ocelot reveals himself to be a Patriot agent. Yes. And that the entire affair was orchestrated by the Patriots to artificially replicate a soldier, Ryden, on par with Solid Snake, to hold the S3 plan. Right, yes. Ocelot kills Fortune before being possessed again by Liquid Snake. Liquid explains that Ocelot's severed right arm was replaced with his own and plans to hunt down the Patriots using the host's knowledge and the stolen ray. Snake pursues Liquid as Arsenal loses control. Arsenal crashes into Manhattan off-screen. Raiden is contacted by an AI impersonating the Colonel and Rose. It states that GW was the only AI destroyed, and the S3 plan's real purpose is to control human thought to prevent society's regression in the digital era from trivial information drowning knowledge and truth. That was some good sci-fi. They order Raiden to eliminate Solidus. Refusal will result in the deaths of Olga's child, who we've never met, and Rose, who we are meant to care for. After Raiden defeats Solidus, Snake, yeah, Snake appears after tracking Liquid's ray. Snake and Otacon plan to rescue Olga's child and locate the Patriots, whose details were hidden in the GW virus disc. Raiden is reunited with the real Rose. So, right, so after Raiden defeats Solidus, Snake appears tracking Liquid's ray, so that's one thread, Snake and Otacon plan to rescue Olga's child, another thread, and locate the Patriots, another thread, whose details were hidden in the GW virus disc. Ryden is reunited with the real Rose that no one gives a shit about, which by which I mean I don't give a shit about. In the epilogue, having decoded the disc, Otacon and Snake find it contains data on all 12 members of the Patriots' highest council, the Wiseman's Committee, which was a word that I recognised from Metal Gear Solid 3, but couldn't quite remember where from, but I'm glad that it's here. However, the members have allegedly been dead for a hundred years! Cool. That was fun. Um, <sighs> Alright, well, now that I've read out that plot summary, we're all up to speed. Let's start the game. The stream might reset when I when I start the game because the PS3 does that. So if it does, you know, we'll we'll just figure that out. Get ready for some obnoxiously loud music. Oh. Told you. What a thrill. 